In the heart of a bustling metropolis, there was a small neighborhood where animals lived alongside humans. Among them was a mischievous little dog named Josh. He had a knack for getting into trouble and making everyone laugh with his hilarious antics. One sunny morning, as Josh strolled through the neighborhood, he noticed a new student arriving at the local school. His name was Brian, a shy and timid boy who had just moved into the area. Josh, always eager to make new friends, decided to give Brian a warm welcome. Josh gathered his gang of friends, including a clever cat named Whiskers, a mischievous squirrel named Nutty, and a wise old owl named Oliver. Together, they hatched a plan to welcome Brian with a hilarious prank. The next day, as Brian walked into the schoolyard, he was greeted by an unexpected sight. A giant banner with the words, Welcome Brian, hung above the entrance, and colorful confetti rained down from the sky. The entire schoolyard erupted with laughter and applause. Brian couldn't help but smile at the warm welcome. He felt a surge of confidence as he realized that he had found a group of friends who genuinely cared about him. Little did he know that this was just the beginning of the mischievous adventures that awaited him. As the days went by, Josh and his gang continued to pull pranks on Brian, each one funnier than the last. They filled his backpack with balloons, turned his lunch into a jigsaw puzzle, and even convinced the school's custodian to let loose a bucket of water over his head when he entered the classroom. At first, Brian found these pranks amusing, but soon they began to escalate. The pranks became more elaborate and started causing chaos in the school. Teachers were slipping on banana peels, paint splattered across the walls, and the principals to paint mysteriously vanished. The situation had spiraled out of control, and Brian was caught in the middle of it all. He realized that the pranks, though meant to be funny, were causing more harm than laughter. He decided it was time to put an end to this madness. Brian approached Josh and his gang and explained how their pranks were causing chaos and trouble. He told them that true friendship didn't involve making others the butt of a joke, but rather supporting and caring for each other. Josh and his gang realized their mistake and felt remorseful for their actions. They apologized to Brian and promised to be better friends. From that day forward, they used their mischievous talents to brighten people's days instead of causing trouble. The neighborhood became a happier place, filled with laughter and kindness. Josh and his gang learned the importance of friendship and the power of their actions. And Brian, with his newfound friends by his side, felt like he truly belonged. In the end, the mischievous adventures of Josh the dog taught everyone the value of true friendship, and they lived happily ever after in their bustling metropolis.